forgot to tell you. That's what I wanted to tell you. Slowpoke Rodriguez, he pack a gun. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be changing the interior of the Dirty 30. Firstly, we're going to dye slash paint the old tan carpet and give it a fresh new black color. So without further ado, let's pull the car out of the garage so we can have more space. I'll also be addressing the rust in the driver's side floor pan a little later on, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to start by laying down some tarp so I don't get too much overspray on the garage floor. Firstly, we're going to dye slash paint the old tan carpet and give it a fresh new black color. Let's start with a quick vacuum so we can get this 30 year old dirt and grime out of the carpet. For paint, I'm going to be using Duplicolor's vinyl and fabric paint, specifically designed for this sort of thing. I ended up using about 8 cans of the paint just for the carpet, so that's about $40 worth of paint. So it's the next day and I've got the grill pieces inside so I can clean and sand off all the old adhesive and years worth of dirt and grime. Then I'll get it ready for prime, paint, and clear coat. I got a little carried away and primed the grill and painted a little off camera. Because of lack of space in my garage, it's just really awkward to get good angles because I have one too many cars. I'm going to go ahead and put the last coat of primer on the two pieces and apply the base and clear as well. And while that dries, I can tackle that rusty floor pan. Alright, um, so I got the um, carpet off. It's right there. And I'm kind of just assessing the damage. So the actual sound deadening material. Um, it comes off so easy off of the you know, I thought I'd have to because it was all over here actually um, But all I had to do was um, Just chip away at it with a you know, knife kind of just pops off um, So my plan It looks like okay, so another thing as well as this is where the um, Gas pedal mounts to and as you can see, hopefully, it's rotted off. So, um, gonna have to take this, take clean this all up, and basically assess like exactly where, uh, what needs to happen. Where I need to, hopefully, you don't have to, but probably going to have to weld in new material. Because as you can see here, I don't know if you can see it moving. It's pretty soft. So, I'm um, going to have to weld in new material for sure. Alrighty. Let's get back to the mess. Um, sound deadening. 
and all the mold that was in here. Um, so yeah, so usually this is where they um, rust, uh, right where the wheel well, the side door and the firewall kind of area meet. It's kind of like, this is right by where the pinch weld is. You can see the tire right there. Um, the, the pinch weld where you lift your car is right about here. So yeah, that size of my fist basically, put my fist in there. Um, then there's these two grommet holes that have kind of gone away as well. Um, and this is what's left of the mounting uh, panel for the uh, gas pedal. So I've started grinding away a little bit. You can see it's kind of a different kind of uh, setup here because I don't know, this seems solid, but um, it's not one piece. There's like little divots in it. So I'm not sure what, what's going on with that. Maybe it's just how it was, uh, the rust was eating the metal away. Uh, but I'm gonna grind on this whole area now and see how I fall how far. This is the underside of the floor pan. I've ground off the undercoating and as you can see there's a pair of brake lines in the way of some of the holes but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. The sun was going down and I was losing daylight so I welded the patches in and applied the rust preventative and primer as well as a section of fiberglass and resin off camera. This is the fiberglass dried. All these kind of uh, white spots like this. That's where the holes are through the holes, through the floor. So um, that'll be okay. Like the light. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you can't see it, but um, what I'm eventually going to do is put slightly more uh, cloth and resin here and here to kind of, you know, cover up that corner because that's where the start, uh, the rust started. Um, and then I'm going to uh, seal it with the POR15. Uh, it's just a uh, paint over rust um, uh, product that they use. Jay Leno actually uses it. Uh, he recommended it. Um, and there's like a starter kit for like 20 bucks that you get like a, a prep uh, prep kit. So it comes with this degreaser, um, the metal prep, and then comes with this one ounce or four ounce can of the stuff so and this has been way more, more than enough to cover um, at least all the seams and the top layers of things um, I'm gonna put that then I'm gonna put primer maybe primer over that again and then I'm gonna put the seam sealer so seam sealer is probably just gonna go around the corners um, where these big holes are and at the bottom as well so I did the same um, fiberglass cloth on the bottom as well um, just because the welder didn't do that good of a job or I didn't do that good of a job welding um, I mean I'll blame the tool uh, a bad workman blames his tools apparently is the, the way that goes so I didn't do that well welding it's that's why uh, well I, I wanted to fiberglass it anyway but welds didn't come out as well as I had hoped so which is which is all right because I'm putting what like a five-step uh, seating process here so it's not too bad um, I remounted the uh, where the uh, foot pedal goes for the gas so the gas pedals it's it's bolted not really bolted but it's it, um, on the floor so this kind of just slips on and then it attaches to uh, right here um, so this e-clip I could take it off but I can't but it's got this kind of uh, 
an E clip that you just pop out. You just take a pair of pliers and pop it out, slide this on, and then I'll uh, put the clip back and then uh, secure the foot pedal there. So it pivots down like that. Okay, so this is the almost complete um, floor. I just primered over it like a sealer primer, just as like a safety measure, I guess. Um, I know it looks a little rough, but it's gonna get covered. It's um, it's gonna get covered up, and I also put you could see a little bit of the um, uh, seam sealer right here. All the darker kind of grays. Put a bunch of seam sealer in the corner here. Um, yeah, pretty much really solid. Started doing the uh, sound deadening. Put a little patch over there, this long patch right here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go set you guys up and go ahead with the sound deadening. That is gonna be it for this video guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't watched my first video on the E30, uh, go check that out. I'll put the link in the description down below.